What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I am doing a video about my least favorite polishes that I own. So I've never done a negative video before, I don't think. I asked you guys on Twitter because I was going through my polishes and I was getting rid of some ones that I don't want and I figured I would ask you guys if you wanted to see a video of my least favorite polishes and why I don't like them. And you guys really wanted it, so that's what we're doing now. So I will start off by saying if I don't like a brand or a polish, I will just get rid of it. I don't use them. I don't keep them. I have so many polishes, so I'll either donate them or I will give them away to friends and family. But I have kept a few. So some of them I've kept just because I don't, I don't know. <laughs> and others I am getting rid of, so I will let you know what they are and why. So let's get into the vid. So there are nine polishes that I'm going to show you guys. And a lot of them are brands that I actually love. So this is not in any way a reflection on how good the brand is. This is like specifically either talking about the color or in a couple of cases it's about the formula. There are brands that I really truly do not like at all and I do not own any of their polishes anymore because I just don't see any reason to keep them. So that's why a lot of these polishes are from brands that I do know and love. So let's just get started. I feel like I wanna start off like a little tame and then we're gonna get into like the really hideous, ugly polishes that I just can't even fathom even existed, okay? The first ones that I'm gonna talk about, I'm actually gonna talk about two at the same time, and these are the Ciate Black and White Nail Polish. The white one is called Snow Virgin, and the black one is called Unrestricted Glam. So I actually got these in a set. It was supposed to be a set for doing negative space nail art, and I'm not sure if I ever posted one on YouTube. This was years ago. I actually have not tried any other Ciate polishes before, so I actually can't say anything about their formula being good because this is my only experience and it is terrible. So start off by telling you guys about the black. This black is the most sheer, most tricky black I have ever used in my lifetime. It's absolutely awful. I remember when I was trying to use it for negative space nailer, I did three coats over tape, which you're really supposed to use like a pretty opaque nail polish when you're doing tape nailer. And it just did not work at all. And I remember being so frustrated. I literally never picked it up again. I'm not sure why I even still own it. I can't even imagine somebody using a black nail polish that takes three coats. Like there are one coater black nail polishes that are perfect. So I'm never going to use this. I'm probably going to get rid of it. The white nail polish is equally streaky, equally translucent, totally not opaque. It takes three coats. Again, it looks on camera opaque after two coats, but I'm telling you it looks streaky and awful and runny and disgusting. And like I said, I've never used any other polishes from Ciate. I just got this one kit and and it was a terrible experience, so I don't think you guys will ever see me using Ciate anytime soon because it is bad. So this is another one. <laughs> this is from OPI. You guys know OPI is one of my favorite brands of all time. This is Amazon Amazon. And if you're wondering, why would you pick this as a least favorite polish? It's a beautiful color. Yes, it is a gorgeous color. However, the first time I ever wore this nail polish, it stained so badly, I never used it again. I never picked it up. I kept it because I think it's such a beautiful color and I'm gonna still keep it because I do love OPI and I do think it's a beautiful color, but I'm never gonna use it because it stains my nails. Don't see a need for that. All right, up next we have a polish from LVX. This is called Malbec, and it is like a dark purple with a silver shimmer in it. Now, I also really like LVX. I think it's a really good brand. They have a lot of beautiful colors. This one, though, I don't know what was going on with it. I usually love vampy colors like this, and I love purple nail polishes, so I'm not sure what it is about this polish that turns me off so much, but it's I, I just think it's really ugly. <laughs> That's literally the reason that I don't like it. I don't understand why they put the silver shimmer in it. It just makes it look streaky and bad. And I, I mean, I, I don't even know what to say about it. It's just like, I've never picked it up off of my shelf because every time I look at it, I'm like, ew, I would never wear this. So that's how I feel about this one. Next polish, this is another twofer, but I'll, I'll talk about them one at a time. This is from Zoya, again, a brand I really truly love. This is Zoya Ginny, it is part of their Pixie Dust series. So if you guys remember, way back in the day, Zoya came out with a special line of polishes called Pixie Dust. They were like really cool sandpaper polishes. They dried to a textured finish and they were absolutely gorgeous. I was obsessed with them. A few years ago, they decided they were gonna stop doing the Pixie Dust formula and they were gonna make it into a new one. I forget if it was called Magic Pixie Dust or Ultra Pixie Dust or something crazy like that. This was one of the first ones that they came out with and instead of just being like a sandpaper texture, it would dry with like a ton of huge chunks of glitter in it. So I'll describe this one for you guys. It's like a really light dusty pink with holographic silver chunky glitters in it. 
So I don't really know what they were going for here, and I understand that this is probably someone's cup of tea, people who like really soft like pastel shades, but on me particularly, this kind of looks like, you know when you're, you have glitter nail polish on and you're trying to just take it off with regular nail polish remover, and you leave behind just like the chunks of glitter, but there's like no color left on your nail and it just looks disgusting? That's how I feel this one looks on me. I think that the color is very close to my skin tone, so it just looks like I'm wearing just like an explosion of horrible glitter. Not a fan of it at all. I have never worn it out in public. I think I swatched it once on my hand and then I was done with it. And I have to say, I was really disappointed in the formula because I loved the original Pixie Dust formula. It was so beautiful. They brought it back, but it's not the same as it was. Like the original Pixie Dust polishes are so beautiful and amazing. The ones that they came out with in between, disgusting. I honestly, I don't think there's any of them that I love. This one is one of my least favorites. I'm about to show you the other least favorite, but it was just a total miss for me. All right, and then that brings me to the other Pixie Dust. This one's called Noir. This is actually, this one is probably the one that I would have loved if it worked correctly. So this one's like a really dark purple and it has really bright pink chunky glitters in it. It was the same part of that like Ultra or Magic Pixie Dust or whatever it was called collection. This one does not dry. I, I guess none of them really dry to that texture of a finish. It's just like chunky glitters. But this, like this is beautiful on its own. And if I just topped it with regular top coat, I think it would look really good. But when it dries, it's supposed to have this texture finish and it just looks like a disgusting chunky glitter that I forgot to put top coat on. So I have absolutely no interest in it, again, because it's part of that special Pixie Dust line. I really honestly just hated it when I got it and I don't think it does what it's supposed to do. So I'm not gonna end up keeping this one anyway because it just reminds me of disappointment. This one is called Shock Value. This is by Cuccio and you guys know I absolutely love their base and top coat. They actually have a ton of really amazing polishes. Most of the creams that I've tried from them are one coaters, which is really amazing. This one for me, I just, I don't, I don't like it at all. It kind of looks like something that a grandma would wear. <laughs> it's like this pearlized, translucent, shimmery situation with like this yellow gold in it. I am actually, I don't think my grandma would wear this because she actually wears nice nail polishes and I just think this is hideous. So the reason that I kept this one and I am going to continue to keep it is because I have a feeling that it would look really good over another color, but it's just like off-putting in the bottle. You know what I mean? It just looks like an old lady color and I'm, I'll probably never use it, but I'm just gonna keep it because why not? I'm a hoarder. No, I just, I don't know. It's ugly. It's an ugly polish. I should get rid of it, but I'm not going to. The last two are polishes that, they're probably my two least favorite polishes ever, and I've never gotten rid of them because I just think they're so hideous that I like to show people when they're like, oh, do you have any bad nail polishes? So that does happen. Okay, so this is number two, the number two worst nail polish ever. This is by China Glaze. You guys know I love China Glaze. China Glaze and OPI are my two favorite brands probably. This one is called Ugly Sweater Party. <laughs> and yes, it is very ugly. So I get what they were going for with this. They wanted it to be like an ugly sweater polish, but it's honestly too ugly to wear. <laughs> That's the truth. It's like mostly pink glitters. There's some holographic in there. There's these big blue chunky glitters in there. I don't know, like I guess the holidays threw up in a bottle and I'm not a fan of this at all. It comes in like this very stained pink base. So you can't really put it over other colors except for black. You can sponge this on. I didn't sponge it on when I'm showing you guys what it looks like because I just didn't want to waste a sponge. But I just think this color is really, really, really ugly. But fun fact, last year around the holidays time, sometimes like when I can't pick a nail polish, I asked Evan to pick one for me and he picked this one for me, which I was like, uh, I don't want to wear that. <laughs> I just think it's so ugly. I just think it's, it's, this has to be one of the ugliest glitters ever. But the next polish that I'm showing you is actually the ugliest polish. I have saved this one for years because it's the ugliest nail polish I own and I just like showing people it because I'm just like, I don't know what they were thinking. I used to have a blog like five years ago and I remember this was the only bad thing I ever wrote was I cannot believe that OPI came out with this polish because it's so ugly. And I know some people like it, which really blows my mind because I'm just like, this is horrible. So <laughs> I feel like I really built this one up. This is OPI pineapples have peelings too. I'm sure you guys have heard of it because I feel like it was a, a widely debated polish. When it first came out, it is like a shimmery yellow base with like periwinkle, blue, green, yellow, and red glitters in it. What were they thinking? This, this is 
by far, and even out of the polishes that I've thrown out, like I've thrown out polishes that I thought were really not good looking polishes. They didn't suit me well, but this is by far the ugliest polish I have ever owned and I will keep it forever because I like to say that this is the ugliest polish in the world and I love to show it to people. I don't know what the intention was of this formula. I think it's absolutely hideous. I don't think it works at all. Like, I don't think the formula is that great either because you can't even get these big chunky glitters on the brush. I remember when I did post that blog post many, many years ago about this. I remember a lot of people were commenting and they were like, I think it's pretty. And I was just like, I'm sorry, I cannot agree with you. I, I, I think this is an awful polish. Uh, maybe if it wasn't in a like shimmering base that was streaky, I don't know. But then it's like the primary colors, oh, I think there's black glitters in here too. Like I just, I feel like they were like, they were making all their polishes, you know? And then they were like, oh man, we gotta clean up. And someone was like, well, why don't we just use all the mess and make it into another polish and sell that too. And that's what this is. Like, I feel like that's how they made it because there's nobody in their right mind would have put these together. I don't, I'm gonna stop myself, but point is this is the ugliest polish of all time, in my opinion. Anyway, those are my least favorite polishes. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, I really am never negative and I feel like I try not to bring any negativity to my channel at all, but I don't know, I just thought it would be fun to show you guys like the polishes that I really don't like in my collection. It's kind of fun to be a little bit mean, but I'm probably not gonna do it again. Like I said, if there's a brand or a color that I don't like, I don't generally show it because I just don't feel like there's any point in being negative about it, but I don't know. I feel like at this point, may as well have a little bit of fun, right? All right, well, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you want, I don't know, more videos. <laughs> kidding, I'll be posting more videos anyway. But I would appreciate the thumbs up because, you know, it makes me feel good about my channel. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, you should definitely subscribe. Like I said, I usually keep it nice and positive. I do have a couple of videos that are coming up very soon. One of them is going to be swatches of the new OPI California Dreaming Collection. And then I'm also going to be doing a makeup video where I'm testing out the dupes that I recently got in that cheap makeup haul that I showed you guys a little while ago. I'm going to be testing out the products and letting you know what I think about them. So, talk to you guys later. We're going to do a super quick fun fact because I'm really hungry and it's like 9 p.m. right now and I haven't had dinner yet. <laughs> That's not the fun fact, but it's going to be an equally lame fact. Today's fun fact is going to be my favorite color, which is navy blue, actually. I feel like this is one that, well, I shouldn't say that because I know that blue is actually the most common color to be a favorite color. I think it's like a third of the world's favorite color is blue or something, and I have no exception to that rule. Blue is also my favorite color, but specifically, I love navy blue. I don't know what it is about navy blue. Maybe it just reminds me of like the starry night sky, which reminds me of space, and I don't know. Maybe that's what it is, but I just love the way it looks. And I used to like only ever wear navy blue, <laughs> but I have now graduated to black. No, I'm just kidding, I wear other colors now. But yeah, blue is my favorite color, navy blue specifically. All right, talk to you guys later.